today we're going to be taking a look at some Filipino snacks that I was gifted by Elodia from the Philippines. Um, now, I didn't manage to bring back everything because I just didn't have the room in my case. I didn't have the weight allowance. So anything that was in a multi-pack, I had to kind of take out the multi-pack and just pack a few of them in my case and stuff. Um, but I got most of it here, I think. Um, a lot of it came in the mail. So shortly after I arrived back in the UK, me and my wife unwrapped a bunch of gifts and some of those, as you've seen in the last vlog, were snacks. So we've already tried those snacks, which I'm going to show now. Now, of all the things that we have to eat here, the very good is one on my list that looks very tasty. So on first smell, smells like chocolate, more than strawberry. The Vice Krispies has like a, a definitive filling of this. I think for the kind of description that it is, and what I'm normally used to eating over here, I kind of expected to have like a bit of a, like, a, like a, some sort of creamy center, like a bit of an oozing. So shall we find out what the hell Buko Pandan is, as a flavor? Yeah, but you're still probably not gonna know from the taste of it, if it's lime, then you'll know it's lime. You're only saying lime because it's green. But it could be apple. I don't it know. It could be something completely different. It may be. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> doesn't really have a smell. And it's not that chewy either. It says chewy, but it's not that oh. chewy. It's like almost nutty. It's like one of those um the milk uh, the what is it the biscuit the the, the, the digest not digested the biscuits the square biscuits with the, the cows on it the milk thingy what are they called or a nice biscuit mm. or like a digested biscuit not something i thought i'd say but it's sweet it i like like some of the milk a bit as well though mm. it's lovely though Right, I'll try it. I'm still eating this one. If these are all the same kind of style and that they're chewy like this, I'll take my time. I'm scared you're gonna lose your teeth. I can't open that. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna try a cloud nine. Mm, it just smell exactly like a Snickers. You were right. It's only because of the peanut. It's not as chocolatey as a, as a, a, snick, a Snickers. What do you think? I like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't drop it. Don't want to waste it. Would you like something else? We're going to try the chocolate one. Yeah. This is chewy yama candy with chocolate filling. So, I'm just wondering what, the... what yama is. Mm. <laughs> That's why. the third one. <laughs> well, this will last us a while. We shouldn't have that much flavour at the moment. We're just trying to get through to the chocolate. Mm. How is it? It's quite nice. Was it taste tough? A bit creamy and a bit chocolatey. So, let us know whether Yemma is a brand or a flavour. In the same way, Buko Pandan. Well, that says back Buko, Buko Pandan flavoured chewy candy, so I would say that's actually a flavour. I don't know whether Yemma is just a type of candy that has a distinctive flavour that's just a bit creamy. The sweet corn one is a bit strange to start with. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that. Flavor. So it wasn't like a popcorn? No, it was like eating sweet corn for dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to try this sweet corn flavoured chewy candy with butter flavoured filling. I find this kind of a weird concept, having like a sweet corn flavoured something rather than it's being sweet corn. It smells like sweet corn. Sweet corn? I can't tell if I like it. Oh, it's a bit like that. 
But then at the end, the flavour just seems to sort of mingle. Because mm. you get the butter bit in the middle. Yeah. That is a strange one. I think my favourite one is the um, Mr. Booker. I don't know, it's just a weird... It's, I've gotten used to the flavour now, it's not so bad. But it's it's not what I it was expecting. It's, a, it's, it's just it's a weird concept. I think concept. what makes it weird is that it's sweet corn flavoured, but yet it's got sugar in it. Like it makes it a bit sweeter. That's what I'm saying, like a sweet, sweet corn. Mm. Part of me likes some of the taste, and then the other half, like, on the initial taste, was a bit like, whoa, what's going on? But now that my parcel arrived, uh, I'm going to try the rest of the snacks. So um, I'm, I've got more of a sweet tooth than a savoury tooth, I think. So I'm going to start with some of the savoury stuff first. So <coughs> I'm still a little bit ill. I've been delaying this video because I'm, I've still got my cough, but it's never going to go away. So we're going to start off with shingling. Da, 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 da. So it says yummy crunch in every bite. There's 100 grams of it. Um, I guess they're like crisps. More feed America. Potato chips. But let's just, jump, let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so my first impression of the smell. Smells like chips. And by that I mean fries. <laughs> I guess they're just basically crisps. Let's try it. There's not a lot of flavour. <coughs> I would say this is reminiscent of when you overcook chips to the point where if you cook, if you cook, if you make chips this sort of size and you overcook them enough that they become more batter-like and the potato on the inside sort of hollows out a little bit so it's just more of the crispier outside. This is what it tastes like to me. So there's not a lot of flavour, but I think this is something you can use with a dip. You guys have been making me laugh actually watching back these vlogs at Manam, Comfort Filipino, my breakfast at uh, the VIP Suite Hotel. Um, just the, the sheer reactions you've been getting from how I eat the food. So I'm probably saying all this wrong anyway. But the, I, I would have this with something, maybe like a dip of salsa or something, I don't know. Saying that though, despite the lack of flavour, it's something that you could kind of like just keep going for and you don't know why, you know. Okay, so next up we have the very famous banana chips, which is banana, I guess, made fried banana or fried banana skin, perhaps. Um, I don't really know. Um, there's a lot of crumbs in here because I obviously had to pack it <laughs> in a box. So I'm sure it might look better if you just bought it from the shops. But again, oh, I cut that off too much. Oh, wow. Okay, so it has a very, very distinct flavor of banana, which sounds stupid because they are banana chips, but it's got a very strong banana fragrance. Okay, let's try it. Oh, wow, this is really nice. These are like, well, it's exactly what it says, banana chips. It's basically just banana flavored crisps, but made from banana rather than potato. This is really good. Mmm, very sweet. Why do they sell these in the UK? I think this would be quite popular. They're really nice. Saying that, even a bag of this size, I don't know how many grams it is, it doesn't say, but I don't think you could eat an awful lot of them. Because it's, it sort of reminds me of banana cube that I had in that it's banana, so you like it. It's sugary and sweet, but despite there only being small pieces of banana, you can't eat a lot of it because it's quite rich. It's quite a fatty food. This one isn't, I wouldn't say this is particularly fatty, but it's very rich. So, maybe a small handful would be good. If only you could see my desk right now. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is. It says Sampaloc Salty. Um, just 
like a Chinese deli thing. I don't really know. Um, I'm expecting this to be salty. Sampalok, uh, I'm not sure what that is. But I know you guys will be telling me what it is. And I can't get into this wrapper. Alrighty, let's have a taste. Okay, so, first smell. It's got a sort of a licorice smell to it, but that's probably just the sugar. It's got a, an interesting flavour. Um, it's got a sort of jellified exterior, and I think it's like a nut on the interior. No, not a nut. It might be a stone. Maybe I'm not supposed to eat that. So there's this stone inside. Not really sure if you're supposed to eat it or not. I mean, it sounds really stupid, but it might be like um, a stone you get in like a, like a plum or cherry. Didn't seem to want to break when I bit into it, so I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. I wouldn't say, I, I don't know why it says salty. I don't know, it's more sweet than salty, to me anyway. It's more, like I say, like a jellified exterior to this. Um, but it does remind me of something. Can't place it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to bin this because I'm, I'm not sure what to do with it. In fact, if you guys tell me what to do with that, then maybe I'll get around to eating more of them, because right now, I, if, I the whole, if I eat the whole pack, I would literally be binning all the stones. So, um, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Okay, next up. We have Otap, and from the sounds of it, it's probably broken a lot. Um, this it says is a puff pastry, so I guess this is going to be quite simply like just a plain uh, biscuity thing. And hopefully, I'm not going to make a mess everywhere. This is what it looks like. Well, there's two of them actually. Uh, I don't want to break it. Ah, crumbs! It's got a sort of sugary top to it to sweeten it. Personally, I think it could do a bit more sugar. And yes, you do need a drink with this. It's quite, um, it's quite dry. and very crumbly. We've also got some Marie biscuits, which I've been told are more like a baby food type thing, so I think this is a bit of a nostalgia thing for you guys, because some of you are laughing a little bit, I've got these biscuits, but they're probably really tasting. So you get four biscuits in a pack. Looks like a typical digestive biscuit in the UK. I mean, a bit thinner, a bit smaller. Let's try it out. But they don't taste too dissimilar to digestive biscuits in the UK. I would say in supermarkets where you've got your digestive biscuits from like a popular brand and then the supermarket's own brand of the same biscuit, this is like the supermarket's own brand in that it's not as flavoursome as say the more premium brands, but it still tastes really good. These are the sort of biscuits that Brits tend to dunk into their tea and eat. I like it. So next we have this, which is Snack Delight. And this is preserved fruits, candies, nuts, and more. I nearly said candles then. Um, candies, nuts, and more. To be fair though, it doesn't look like it's a mixture of all those things. It looks like it's just nuts or seeds or something. Wow, I've got a... Like a sort of pick and mix sort of uh, smell to it. Let's try a handful of these. I couldn't decide whether I liked them or not. And the flavors kept changing. I kept tasting sweet stuff and I kept tasting bitter stuff. So, can we assume? Oh, I don't like that bit. Can we assume then that there's nuts, fruits, candies, etc., within these shells? Or is this just one particular thing? Because it's hard to really say. But yeah, they've, oh, I'm not sure I like that anymore. <laughs> oh. 
started off okay, but then the aftertaste you get, not really keen on. The next thing we're gonna try are dried mangoes, which are specifically from Cebu. Um, not much else to say, I like mangoes. So let's have a taste. Quite chewy as well. It smells good. Kind of what you expect for any dried fruit really, is that it's like a raisiny sort of texture, and that kind of squidgy, a little bit um, slimy. Mmm, this is quite nice. Mmm. That's really good. It's quite fresh as well. I know it's dried fruit, but it tastes really fresh. That is very nice. I highly recommend these. Just to go back a moment, despite them being, despite these being preserved, fruits, candies, nuts and more, just say at the bottom here, Butong Pak Wan, which I don't know what that means. But I have another pack from the same company saying squash seeds. So I presume these are just one kind of thing. So please let me know what Butong Pak Wan is so I know what to avoid next time I come over because <coughs> I wasn't overly keen on those. Shall we say? Oh, and I almost dropped them all over the floor. So moving on to the squash seeds. Uh, again, same brand, same company. They smell like uh, hamster food. Now, I don't know whether you're supposed to de-shell this. Let me know guys, am I supposed to de-shell these or not? But at the moment, I'm gonna wing it and just say no. It's quite, oh, it's quite salty. Oh, wow. Wow, that is very salty. And interestingly, I didn't think I'd like these, but they taste really good. Wow. Again, no idea if you're supposed to de-shell these. But, oh. And I'm pulling a face. <laughs> it's incredibly, incredibly salty. Wow. A drink is definitely on the card. They taste, they've got so much flavour, they, they really do pack a punch. A very salty punch. I don't think you can eat too much of them. I think you might just end up collapsing because <laughs> they're too much salt. Um, but it's very nice, very, like I say, very flavourful. Tastes really good. You just need to drink with it and not eat too much of them. Moving on to the more sweeter side of the snacks. We have, we have Choco Nut. Maybe I'll recognize it better from the packaging. Which is a peanut milk chocolate. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I've already tried one of these and so has my wife. She absolutely loves these. I thought this would taste more chocolatey, chocolatey with a bit of a nutty taste, but actually it tastes more like peanut butter with a hint of chocolate. You can barely recognize the chocolate. So I know what these already taste like. I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of this. Um, so I'm gonna take a small bite and just kind of recap my reaction. It's very soft and crumbly. Yeah. Definitely a very strong peanut butter taste. I mean, it's not, it's not overly that bad actually. It's not. Um, it's just not what I expected. I thought there'd be a bit more of a chocolatey taste, but all you can taste really is like a nutty taste, like a creamy, I don't like you doing this, like it's helping me flow my words. Alrighty, next up we have Mini Stickos, a chocolate wafer uh, stick. So let's try these. So they're quite spirally, kind of cool. Smells decent. I have nothing to say about these beyond chocolate and wafer and they're very tasty. I think there's like chocolate, I don't know what I'd need to check now. I, was gonna say, I think there's chocolate on the inside, there is as well, there's chocolate on the inside. Only where the, well, where you can see the chocolate on the outside is where the chocolate is on the inside as well, which makes a lot of sense because it's just an entwined spiral. I'll have another one. So here we have a Jack and Jill Hello Vanilla which is chocolate coated vanilla filled wafer sandwich. 
So I think this would be very similar to what we have in the UK called Blue Ribbon. Mmm. Yeah, very similar to the UK's Blue Ribbon. Blue Ribbon. But the vanilla flavour is coated on the inside. There's like th three layers of it in between wafers and chocolate. So that's, that tastes really good. Some Jolly Finger Cream Sandwich Cookies. Now, I do like uh, the look of these biscuits. Um, has a, was it vanilla, did I say? But finger cream sandwich cookies. So it might be like a vanilla y sort of flavouring on the inside. No, not vanilla. I'm not sure what it is actually. Ah! It's got orange flavoured cream interior. Yes. So it's an orangey, orangey filling. Very nice. We're getting through guys, we're getting through it. Goldilocks Sweet Delight uh, shortbread. They're in little packets. I didn't expect that, very nice. So yeah, we, we like shortbread in the UK, so this should be quite tasty. Although it doesn't look like shortbread, it's got a kind of powdery look to it. Mmm, this is very different to what we normally have. This has a strange, not strange bad, just strange different uh, flavour to what we normally have. I can't work out what, what it's different about it. I was looking at the ingredients trying to find what it might be. It seems sweeter than the UK. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm more into chocolates and, and cakes and like different kinds of biscuits more than short, shortbread. We're gonna go for a curly top. So we've got some curly tops here. Again, these are looking pretty good. They're actually, they look a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, the picture on the, on the front there make them look like they're about that tall, but you know, the box is only so big, so obviously that's not gonna be the case. They're tiny. <laughs> you know when you have like an advent calendar at Christmas, this is like the chocolate that you get inside, that nice kind of milky chocolate. Oh, this will be good. This is very nice. In terms of the term milk chocolate, I would say these are very milky. For me, I love milk chocolate. These taste like they've got a lot more milk in it, so it's very milky kind of flavored. But they taste really good. So far, the chocolate I've tried, this is my favorite so far. Yeah, check this out. So it's got buttermilk, skim milk, there's vanilla and cinnamon, whole milk. There's a lot of milk in this. Okay, next up we've got some classic Lala milk chocolate. Uh, no preservatives, low in fat, no artificial colours. So they have this sort of like diamondy texture, you can't really see. A sort of diamond texture. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it smells quite rich. Like a dark chocolate. Oh! It's very chewy. I did not expect that. It says milk chocolate, but it tastes like dark chocolate. Yeah, it's got sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa powder, corn syrup, and vanilla. I don't know why it's so chewy. It's almost like um, a bit toffee-like, like a soft toffee. Maybe, maybe a caramel is probably a better way of describing it. And it also feels like it needs a bit more sugar. I feel like the when you normally have milk chocolate, it's obviously got a lot of sugar, milk, and stuff to make it taste really good. If you had chocolate in its pure form, it would probably taste really horrible, because quite a strong flavour and it's not sugared or not sweetened, sugared. So there's a lot of processing going on to make chocolate taste good. I feel like this needs a bit more processing, like it's still quite a raw chocolatey taste, if you know what I mean. It's got a very, like it mentions the cocoa powder, it's probably a lot of raw cocoa in that. Next you've got Choco Mallows. Now these I'm expecting to like, because we have things like this in the UK. Now I'm expecting an initial crunch on the chocolate followed by a soft follow through, that bit of thing, uh, into the marshmallow. Mm. This tastes just like the ones we get in the UK. But yeah, it's a chocolate exterior, um, hardened sort of shell with the sort of a biscuity base, very light biscuit base, and then just packed full of marshmallow. 
It is what it is. It's very tasty. And finally, I'm expecting this to be very rich and very dense to eat. It's Hopia Red Mungo. It's a red mung beans cake. Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm not sure if it's going to be sweet or savoury. I don't know what to expect at all, actually. That's not what I expected. So for those of you who don't know what this is, so they look like, well, I'll show you the packaging. So you take it out of the packet and it comes in this cardboardy sleeve. And this is what it looks like. It's just like a, it looks like a mini pie. It does not smell sweet. Doesn't really smell, well, it's got a smell. It's hard to describe the smell. This has really thrown me. The word cake confused me. I'm not even sure from the smell if I'm gonna even like this. The thing that throws me is beans as well. I don't really like beans. And the fact that it's a cake. That's probably my least favorite snack. Oh. Oh, I need a drink. It's got a very soft texture. A bit like a kidney bean. Oh, that took some swallowing. There's bound to be things that I like and dislike, as with everybody in the world. I hope I haven't offended you with this. But I, I, I don't like that at all. It's, it's, um... See, I didn't really read what it said. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, cake, I'll leave it to last. I didn't realise it was a red mung bean cake. Um, <coughs> I can't even begin to describe the taste. But it's, it's just, I mean, look at that. It's just packed all the way through. Just all the way through that. Yeah, there, there was absolutely no way I could get through any of that, no. So that was all the snacks that I got. Um, I'm sure there was a few more that I couldn't bring with me, so as I idea, I am very sorry that I couldn't bring all of the food back. But hopefully you guys have all enjoyed me trying these snacks. It's a shame I didn't get a chance to try these in the Philippines. I was hoping to have a day or a morning or something while I was there to actually try these snacks and, and film, the, film this vlog, but I just had so much planned. I just had no time. But for the majority of it, I did really like. I reckon about 95% of what I tried, I enjoyed. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this uh, Filipino snack vlog. So it's been one month since I've been to the Philippines and I thought I would do a little bit of a reflections video to talk about my time in the Philippines, plus just to wind down this whole trip actually. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a huge announcement to make. 